guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pika and I do fragrance reviews. So, welcome back. In today's video I have something very exciting, something that I don't think... I used to do this thing where I did monthly discoveries, where I would discover a really amazing fragrance each month, and I think I might still carry that on. This might be one of those videos, or I'll just call it my unicorn fragrance discovery, something like that, because honestly, this fragrance, guys, is an absolute unicorn, and there's a very good reason why. So, let me first show you what the fragrance is. So this is called Ananda Royal Mango by Mikalev. Now, now, oh, oh, the amount of time it took me to find this fragrance, let, let alone find this, even know that it existed, I definitely discovered it in a very weird way, and I'll tell you why. So, on eBay, sometimes you get, I mean, for me, I always searched Mikala fragrances, because if you guys don't know, I've always kind of really loved the older releases, which I think most of them have been discontinued, like um, Rose Extreme, um, the Rouges, the Red Rouge, Rouge number no. one, number two. Um, there's lots of fragrances from Mikalev that they released a long time ago, which they've now discontinued. And one day I was on eBay and I searched in Mikalev and somebody was selling a sample of Royal Mango. And I said to myself, oh my gosh, I definitely need to try that because first of all Mikalev and second of all Mango, I mean, I mean. So I definitely bought it, it arrived and it blew my socks off because this fragrance, and I'll tell you more, more about it once we get into it, but this is a love child of two fragrances which I really enjoy. One of the fragrances I don't have in my collection, one of them I do, and the comparison I've made is Cruz del Sol 2 and Coromandel. So, the way I discovered this fragrance, or the way I bought it, was through a Russian website, and it took me a very long time to, first of all, find it online, let alone buy it and receive it. Um, luckily, I finally bought it and received it, I think, roughly a month ago now. So, all in all, it was worth it. So, let's just jump straight into the description. So let's first of all go through the notes because I think that's something that you guys definitely want to know about or want to hear about. So I don't know whether these are actually the um, official notes but we'll just go over the flow. So there's peach, saffron, rose, mango, raspberry, dark chocolate, caramel, patchouli, vanilla and musk. Okay so this is how it looks like. It comes in this very beautiful box. What do you expect from Mikalev? Beautiful presentation. That's what I have to say. They always have really gorgeous presentation. Very artisanal. That's what it reminds me of. Very artisanal. And this is how the bottle looks like. It does get fingerprints very easily, so I do apologise. I hope that it's not super duper fingerprinted all around. But you can see the little flowers and the gems and then the typical Ananda type packaging with this cone-like lid. So it's very in line with how Ananda, how the Ananda line looks like. Um, so let me spray this on my hand. Let's, oh, if it wants, oh, oh, there we go. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh my God. So it's very sweet, um, but it's not overwhelmingly sweet. And it's it, the type of mango in here, let me tell you, is the type of mango in Crystal Soul 2. So minus the other fruits and minus the milkiness, this is a very overripe kind of mango. Very juicy, fruity, um, just on the border of going off, but not completely off, if you know what I mean. And then on top of that, you definitely smell the peach. I definitely get the peach. Again, the peach gives it a bit of fruitiness, but a little bit of a vintage vibe. And then on top of that, you get chocolate and patchouli. Now, I don't think they've actually put a chocolate accord in here. I think the patchouli has made it smelt 
like chocolate if that makes sense because patchouli if you guys don't know it has really weird facets it can go into it can be just dry green herbaceous it can go into wetter um more denser type of patchouli fragrance where it can go into more of a chocolatey vibe and this is what is happening in here and the reason why i compared coromandel and crystal sultu as a baby to create this fragrance is because in Coromandel you have a really big note of wet damp patchouli but that patchouli in Coromandel gives it like this chocolatey vibe and that's exactly what I'm getting from this so if you imagine the overripe mango from Crystal Del Sol 2 and the patchouli wetness the chocolatiness from Coromandel if you made a baby this is what it would smell like. This is definitely on the sweeter side, a bit on the vintage kind of side, which, you know, it's expected from Mikalev. They do make more mature smelling fragrances, which I love. I love a more mature fragrance. So overall, it would be classed as a gourmand fruity, but it does lend itself to different categories. It doesn't have the typical notes of sheep fragrances or sheep fragrances, but it, you know, it kind of has that vibe with the peach and the other notes. From what I remember, I don't really get a lot of saffron, if I'm honest. It's not spicy to me. Um, it doesn't have that zing. It's quite a mellow fragrance. So it's just sweet, soft, wet, patchouli, chocolatey. It's really gorgeous. I think most of you would really enjoy this fragrance. And if you can get a bottle, please, please get a bottle. Um, as I said, I bought it through a Russian website and it took me absolutely ages to find it. And even when I found it, one thing that I need to recommend to all of you is that maybe the shipping might not, a might not be able to work because as you can imagine, shipping internationally, first of all, with fragrances is a pain in the backside, but second of all, from Russia to somewhere like the UK where we have Brexit and all of these things going on, it was hard, it was hard, but I got it in the end and I'm very thankful for the website um, for shipping it. They had amazing customer service. If I can remember the website, I will link it down below for all of you. Also, I completely forgot to talk about the longevity, the projection, the performance in general. Guys, guys, I was so impressed. I was so impressed. I must admit, it really took me by surprise. I was really, no, I wasn't anxious about it, but I was a little bit worried that it would be a skin scent. No, 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 no. This baby lasts for a day, a full on day. You can spray maybe four or five sprays and it will last from the morning until the night. Um, in terms of the projection, it does have a really good scent bubble around you. I would say... I mean, I'm not a mathematician, neither am I in physics, but you know, it creates a really nice bubble around you. I get about an arm's length um, for, I would say about a few hours, four or five hours, and that carries on, which is really nice. I would say this is definitely an office safe fragrance because it's not overly um, childish or um, adolescent type smelling fragrance, neither is it overly sweet. And But that patchouli with that peach does make it smell a little bit more vintagey, which if you're into that, you're into that and so am I. Um, so yeah, overall the performance is Mamma Mia. The scent trail, I have to remember, I think it did have a nice sillage to it, which again is very, very good. Now, whether I would class this as a sexy or sensual scent is entirely up to you guys. To me, it does have an allure to it because it does smell very different, but um, I wouldn't necessarily class it as uber sexy, if you know what I mean. I think it's a very safe, playful fragrance, but I don't, and mature at the same time, but I don't think it's awfully sexy if you know what I mean. So if you have enjoyed this video please thumbs up, like, all of that jazz and I shall catch you in my next one. Bye guys!